What's up, beautiful people? My name is Sable, and welcome to my channel, Curls of a CPA, where I take you on my perfectly imperfect journey. And today, we're gonna be trying something expensive. Yes, we're going to be using some luxury natural hair products from the brand Bread Beauty. Um, I actually got these, I think, during Black Friday, if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, I got the whole like bread box, this, everything with the scrunchie that it came with. And I haven't tried it yet, but I actually recently picked up their cream. And so I wanted to do an entire wash day. This portion of the video is just gonna be the wash day and you'll get a little tease of how the cream works in my hair at the end. So please stay tuned. But that is enough talking. Let's see, you know, if bread is <laughs> worth your bread. <laughs> Get it, bread, coins, money. Uh, okay, let's let's get into it. <laughs> Good morning. It's wash day. <laughs> Y'all, this is me early in the morning doing my hair before work. It's gonna be voiceover stable for most of this wash day. But I'm starting off with stretched out hair. But the funny thing about the stretched hair is that last night I attempted to wash my hair. I did my clay mask and everything. I turned around twice and it was 10 p.m. So I didn't actually finish my wash day and I just put my hair in some twists, went to bed, and then I had somewhere to go. So I just stretched my hair out, I brushed it out, used some hair butter and then put it in a bun. So at this point, my hair isn't really dirty, but because I put the butter on it and I wanna kind of strip that away, I'm gonna go in and clarify with the Melanin Hair Care Shampoo. And y'all know this is no stranger to my channel. I've been using the shampoo like crazy off camera, on camera, and it just does a really good job of cleansing my hair. And when it's in my hair, I can move my hands through my hair nicely, you know, get into the crevices or whatever and get a really nice lather and get my hair nice and clean. And after rinsing it out, my hair is very defined, but it is so stripped. And so this is the perfect time to go in with a moisturizing shampoo. And the shampoo that I'm gonna be using today is the Hair Wash from Bread Beauty. And it's a gentle milky hair cleanser for curl types 3A to 4C. And as you guys can see, the consistency is very creamy and this shampoo gives you a very thick and luxurious lather, okay? So you need to make sure that your hair is soaking wet in order for this to really work through your hair because she she's thick, okay? She is thick. But because it's a thick lather, you might struggle a little bit to get to that scalp. And so that's why it's important for your hair to be really wet. And if you're finding that it's hard for you to distribute it, just add a little water and you will be fine. And the directions do mention to do this in four equal parts. So I was following directions without even reading it. <laughs> and they say that this hair wash is a light marshmallow light -like cream that transforms into a gentle lather for clean but soft strands. It takes care of buildup and debris without causing knottiness, crispy dryness, or stripping your hair of natural oils. It's specifically formulated with aloe vera and argan oil to work its gentle but effective magic on hair that is thick, curly, coily, Afro textured, and generally dry and dehydrated. Who you calling dry and dehydrated? Okay. <laughs> But I do agree with them. I feel like this shampoo was very softening. It didn't cause any knots in my hair. And as for the packaging, at first I thought this was gonna be hard to maneuver in the shower, but it's actually not that bad. You just twist this thing on and off. It's super easy to use. When I rinsed it out, my hair still felt really good. It had like a softening to my hair once I rinsed it out. I almost thought that there was more left in it. It almost gave me that feeling like there was oils left over, but there weren't. So I think that the, the shampoo does a good job of hydrating the hair. Next, I'm going in with the Bread Beauty Hair Mask. And this mask is thick, y'all. Like when it comes out, it is a very creamy, but it's not like pillow creamy. It's on the thicker side. And they say this hair mask is a velvety, lightweight and powerful emulsion for soft moisturized curls. 
whilst it's heavy on good things like Australian kakadu plum, okay, kakadu plum, and starflower oil, this light to the touch cream will leave your curls hydrated and buttery smooth without weighing them down. Easy, simple, smells good like bread. It don't smell like bread. I feel like it smells like vanilla icing. It's really giving me Camille Rolls algae renew vibes, okay? But as I say, my hair is definitely feels hydrated, buttery smooth, and I don't feel like it's weighing my hair down. What I did was to give me that weight that I do like, I just added more. I just added more on top and that just helped to smooth my hair down and it has good enough slip. I was able to run my fingers through without any issues. And the directions do say to leave it on for five to 10 minutes, add more water and gently detangle with your fingers or detangling comb. And that's actually what I did. That's actually what I, I would typically do if I'm planning to detangle with my deep conditioner, I'll put it in my hair while I'm detangling. If I'm having any issues, I'll add a little water to my brush to help with the slip. And I found that this, um, I don't know, I felt like after the five to 10 minutes, maybe it was a little bit more slippery, maybe a little bit more soft, but it didn't feel like astronomically better after that 10 minutes. Um, what I did notice is that my hair kind of absorbed a bit of it because before it was just resting on my strands. But after that 10 minutes, I saw that my hair absorbed some of the product. And so that is a good sign. The next time I use this mask, I'm going to use it with heat to see if it makes a difference. But I do think if you need like a quick deep conditioning, this is the perfect mask for that. And the detangling process was very quick because I mean, I started off with stretched hair that was already detangled. I was able to basically finger detangle while the shampoo, both shampoos were in my hair. I was finger detangling while I put the deep conditioner in my hair. So at this point, my hair shouldn't be very, very tangled. <laughs> um, but the tangles that I do have at my roots, I was able to get through them with ease by just wetting my brush and just taking my time. So yeah, I think I would definitely recommend these products. But now that I'm done detangling, I'm gonna go rinse this out and show you what I'm working with. <laughs> All right, and I'm back. And after rinsing, my hair feels really soft. It doesn't have that buttery leftover, but my hair definitely feels hydrated, okay? This is not something that I would use as like a deep conditioner, maybe like a midweek, or maybe if my hair is not super dry and it's not in need of serious rehab. But my hair feels good. It has like a little luster. So I'm here for all of it, okay? Next, I'm going in with the star of the show and it is the Bread Beauty Hair Cream and it is an elastic bounce leave in, okay? And this hair cream is a silky soft styling cream that contains conditioning and repairing agents for a semi-defined soft hold with elasticity and pliability. The key ingredients are mango butter, grapeseed oil, argan oil, and castor oil. And they say it wraps your strands in lightweight shine and effortless definition. Y'all, when I tell you that this cream feels so good on my hair, like I did not expect this very light way like because I mean it's very it has a very loose consistency but as soon as I put it in my hair it felt like I was using the um the Curl Smith Bond Solve like when they say that it gives elasticity they not lying like I could instantly feel like my curls just kind of bouncing back <laughs> this great it is 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 good like I don't I don't know what they put in this but it is good okay and they are claiming that this is an all-in-one product that you just need this for moisture and for styling. And so I'm definitely putting it to the test. But what I will tell you just from my first impression is that I think it's gonna do the job. The frizz was instantly tamed as, I, as soon as I put it on. Like the frizz and the puffiness that I got from detangling my hair with the brush, it was like my curls just came right back when I put the cream on it. So I'm feeling it, right? But. I need to share the bathroom. It is definitely early in the morning. And so I'm just gonna put on a cap and come back when I'm ready to style. But as my leave-in conditioner is brewing, I just wanna give you guys some final thoughts. I like the shampoo and the conditioner. Do I think that it's something that you need to run out and grab right, right now? No, but if you're into luxury, clean, 
beauty, then I think you will like these two. Um, the shampoo is definitely a gentle cleanser. And so if you are someone who you don't really like shampoo, I think you will like this because it doesn't strip the hair or anything, but I still feel like it does a good job of cleaning. Um, as for the mask, if you're looking for a quick, deep condition, I would recommend it. If you like heavy, heavy butters and stuff in your deep conditioner, um, this you may not like. I think you you would consider this to be more like a rinse out conditioner, yes. But all in all, these products are definitely quality products. My hair took well to them. So if you have the coin, I'd say go for it. I think it's worth your bread. Will I repurchase? I'm not sure. I think once I finish the shampoo and the conditioner, I can give you a better idea. But for now, it's a yes for me. So. That's it. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this wash day journey with me. Please stay tuned for my styling video. I mean, you don't want to miss it because don't tell nobody, but it was kind of fire. <laughs> this is actually my day six hair from that twist out. I think I've shown you guys how I do this bun a million times, but let me know in the comments if you want to see how I did this bun on my bread hair. It's no different from any other time, but you know, I don't mind, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, stay a while. If the styling video is live, it'll be on the end screen in the card down below. If not, I have plenty other wash day, styling day videos for you guys. So go ahead and check them out. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and good wash day vibes. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at myself for like <laughs> with like an old person. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>